Now, the next application for Simple Thesis Feature Box is instead of using a widget, what we're going to do is we're going to use the Dynamic Content Gallery. We'll look at how to use the Dynamic Content Gallery right now. So if we come back over here to our Feature Box. First, we have to deselect Widgetize the Feature Box, and then we're going to use the Dynamic Content Gallery and hit Save. Now, I have the Dynamic Content Gallery installed, but I don't think I have it activated. So let's activate that first. And Dynamic Content Gallery activated. There we go. Now, you'll notice, if you're familiar with the Dynamic Content Gallery, you will have become acquainted with a warning message that shows up here saying that the Dynamic Content Gallery uses the Featured Image uh, function. And when you activate uh, my plugin, you deactivate that warning. And so that's why you don't, you don't see that here. Whereas if we were to come back over to the simple feature box and not select that plugin, but instead select the SH Slideshow plugin, come back over to plugins, you'll see we have that error message arises. This version of Dynamic Content Gallery requires that your theme support WP post thumbnails feature. And I don't know why that warning exists. It doesn't actually require that and we don't really use that here, but nevertheless. So back to the dynamic content gallery, which is what we'll use first. The dynamic content gallery in this case is already set up. All right, I've already chosen to use the ID method. I've already picked my IDs. I already have the description set up and the gallery CSS set up. My gallery is already set to be 600 pixels wide and 250 pixels tall and my JavaScript options are configured and all that kind of stuff. This is already configured. If you don't know how to configure the dynamic content gallery, there are videos elsewhere on the site that talk about doing that. So I'm not going to go through that any further here other than to say that we have the dynamic content gallery already configured on the site and images are already there for it. So now if we come back over to the simple feature box and say we want to use the dynamic content gallery, not the SH slideshow. and then come back over and take a look at what it looks like. This whole thing is going to be gone and will be replaced with the dynamic content gallery. Now you'll notice that I say this whole thing is going to be gone. What I really meant was the text widget is going to be gone because the styling for that area stayed. Because you can actually, you can style the area used by the dynamic content gallery or the SH slideshow or next gen gallery. It doesn't matter which of those plugins you use, you can style this as well. And so, were we to want to, we could, uh, right now what we have is, you know, this padding that moves the dynamic content gallery away from the edge here. And then we've still got our rounded corners and all the rest of that stuff. We're going to start off by getting rid of all of that. So we're going to get rid of all of the padding. And we're going to get rid of all the margin. And we are going to make the background color transparent. We are not going to have a border. We'll take out the drop shadow for the time being. And we won't round the corners. So we're going to essentially get it back to the generic standing. We'll take a look at it there now. So, you know, based on this, it would probably be nice to go ahead and add some height or some margin here and add margin over there to get it to line up with this so we can move this into position. So we'll go ahead and add 20 pixels here and 12 pixels there of margin. So 20 pixels of top margin, 12 pixels of left margin, and we pretty much have the dynamic content gallery sitting in the spot that we want it to. Now I created this dynamic content gallery this specific width. If we wanted it larger we would have had to have created the images larger and all the rest of that stuff. So that is um, something to keep in mind. 
when you're doing this is that you you want to design your images so that they're the the right size to fill the space that you have available and right now my my content area is larger than 600 pixels wide and so I've got a little bit more space here than you might want if you wanted to move it over and and split the difference you would just add more margin to this edge okay so that's how you insert the dynamic content gallery next thing we're going to do is insert the uh, sh slideshow instead